What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Good, The Bad and The Stupid, it's Thursday the 29th of October. Hope you're well, you've had a great day wherever you are in the world. I'm about to ruin it for you. Well, not until 2068, but I'm giving you good prior warning that the planet is going to be hit by an asteroid in 2068 called the God of Chaos. I don't mind being hit by an asteroid called the God of Chaos. I'd quite like to be, if I'm going to be destroyed by anything, I wouldn't mind it being called the God of Chaos. Storm Brian, I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it again. England, whoever's in control of naming our storms and our, our fucking hurricanes or whatever, you better start coming up with some powerful names so that we don't mind when our house gets destroyed by it. But when you call it Storm Brian or fucking Storm Dennis or Storm uh, uh, Gladys or whatever else you're going to come out with, it, 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 doesn't quite, it doesn't quite sit right when your house has been destroyed by something as meek as that. So the god of chaos, you can fucking blast me into smithereens and I'll be totally happy with it. Plus, in 2068, I'll probably be uh, ready to fucking leave this planet anyway. But I certainly wouldn't mind doing it that way and not in some fucking hospital bed waiting for me, while my family are around me, waiting for me to die so I can get, they can get my money. No. I want the god of chaos. I'll take it. <clears throat> And it's gonna, when it does come, it's gonna hit the earth with 1,200 million tons of TNT. 1,200 million tons of TNT. So that's gonna blow your wig off, I'll tell you that. Um, what else is it? And it's the equivalent also of 80,000 Hiroshima nuclear bombs. So uh, you're gonna get a suntan on that fucking, uh, on that episode, I'll tell you, wherever you are in the world. That would that fucking. But that would break the fucking place in two, wouldn't it? I don't think many people are going to survive that. And if you do, you're going to be looking like a cockroach. Or you're going to be... What's them films? Apocalypto. It's going to be Mad Max from there on in, isn't it? So uh, it depends on which side of the world it lands on. As to whether you get lucky or not. But anyway, there's 150,000 to one being flattened by an asteroid. That ain't that fucking bad. It's, it's worse. <laughs> 150,000 to one. That's not that bad odds. It's 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 high odds, one hundred and fifty thousand to one. But you look at fucking winning the lottery and all these loads of things are, are high, much 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 higher odds than that, and they happen quite a lot. The ridiculous odds, the lottery is something like three million to one or some shit like that, and this one's one hundred and fifty thousand to one. So don't get too complacent. You might be only fucking. We might be on our way out. We have this COVID. We're all going to get over it. Nice and cool. We're all going to be out in the bars. Nice one. All of a sudden, the god of chaos comes. Or Storm Brian. Don't be Storm Brian. Please. Whatever uh, good storm names are there. What you could have. Storm Satan. That'd be a good one. That's Storm Lucifer. That'd be another good one. Fucking. I'll tell you what. I need a job at the weather report. Uh, the weather uh, station now. It's getting ridiculous. People don't know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And I can do it better than they do. In their job. Is is uh is, is some is another comedian, <laughs> a hiker has found himself no hike, hikers hikers are, f are fuming after finding a shopping trolley, uh, at the highest point of the Malvern Hills. <laughs> Somebody's took a shopping trolley to the top, the very highest part point of the Malvern Hills. Well, you got to admire their uh, the, you know their dedication to the prank or to the joke. They've had to carry that up there. That was one thousand three hundred ninety four feet. They've made a fucking effort there. I think you should applaud it. And there, one of you's got fucking. One of you, if you've got the balls, you've got something to roll down the hill. There, haven't you? You've got the shopping trolley. You can fucking chuck one of you in and push it down the hill. Don't know why they didn't do it. Whoever the prankster were, who took it up there, you wouldn't. You'd think that they would want to fucking ride it back down, because <laughs> they look like they're, they're, they're having a bit of fun. The hikers are probably loads of old people. You know them. What they've got them sticks that they walk with. Walking sticks, they can walk fine, but then they use these sticks that they can walk with, like the skiing. There's probably some of them, you know, just about to fucking bang out the uh, cheese sandwiches, and all of a sudden they see a chopping, chopping trolley. I mean, it ain't right, really, but still, they've done that for that reaction. They knew they'd piss somebody right off. I wonder if somebody did the uh, good deed and took it back down. Cancelled their trip, said, I'll take it back down, leave it to me. Or did they call in the uh, air ambulance? Or the, uh, you know, the ambulance fucking helicopter. <laughs> Save the trolley. Um, what's this one? A long-suffering wife has been, uh, has been with a ghost-hunting husband. He's like living with Scooby-Doo. 
He spent 30 years searching for spooks, but he's terrified of them, like the, uh, like the cowardly cartoon Great Dane. He wants to find ghosts, but when he does, he wants me to. He wants me stood in front of him. <laughs> She's pushing his wife out in front. Fucking the two right as well. If well, don't do that unless it really is dangerous, and then do it. Don't do, do it. You know you can't just do it. She'll know what you're up to from the very first time. If she doesn't die on that one. She's not going to fucking fall for it twice, surely. If somebody a ghost's coming at you and you know he's definitely going to kill you, that's when you throw your wife in front of him. No, not before. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so we, he's scared. What, how's, he do, how's he go hunting for ghosts then? Is he doing it with the camera or what? I love them. I'll tell you what, they're, the, they're one of my favourite horror films, they are. The ones with the cameras. The dodgy cameras like Blair Witch. Blair Witch scared the shit out of me and it was like, there's like, hardly anything happens in it but it's just the subtleties of it that's brilliant. It really puts you in the place and... Uh, this guy's probably going around. He's probably wife. He's probably scaring his wife by screaming himself. There's nothing there, really. But anyway, he's 71 as well. He's due a heart attack then. So uh, he ain't going to last too long if he fucking keeps it up. If he's scared all the time. If he's scared of his shadow, because I bet half the time he might have seen a ghost, but I bet 90% of the time that he shit himself and threw his wife on the floor, it's been like a car headlight going past or uh, you know, a breeze coming through a fucking curtain. Or like... Um, I don't know, a spider dropping down on his head, tickling his head. He's going, oh no, ghosts just touch my head. It's a spider landing on his head. Could do. Anyway, good on him if, he's, uh, if that's his hobby. It sounds like a hobby that he fucking hates, to be honest, but still, he does it. <coughs> Birmingham, my town, my town, Birmingham town, is the most rat-infested city, according to this. Is there anything fucking good about Birmingham, people are going to say? We said we had the worst accent. We said we had the least sexiest accent. We said the most untrustworthy is as accent. And now we're saying we're the most rat-infested rat city. I'll tell you what, but they're also saying the gangster city, the Peaky Blinders. That's where the gangsters are from, the Peaky Blinders. If you've ever seen this Peaky Blinders film, programme, should I say, wherever you are in the world, watch it, and you'll fucking soon start to love my accent. Before that, people thought... <laughs> Everybody else around England thinks the accent's shit. But anyway, we've got we've uh, we had more calls to pest control than anywhere else in the country. Good. We'll have we like it to be dark and dingy, Gotham City style. And we've got rats now to prove it. <coughs> Don't want them in my house. I want them in the fucking. Uh, um, if anybody, here's a tip. Anybody in Birmingham, if you if you're having problems with the rats and you're in a poor area, take a load of rat food and put it in all the posh areas. And do the Pied Piper type thing. Just lead, lead them along with a bit of food. Keep going. And then, uh, and then just lead them all into the posh area. And leave them over there. Get them all out of the poor area. Because it's usually, I bet it's all in the fucking poor areas where the pest control is. Because, they live, because of the council not doing things up, they live like shit. So uh, every man for himself, I say. Because these, these are some more pranksters. These are good. They put some shop dummies together in, in the shop window. They pose. They went into, uh, how did they do it? How did they get in there? They got some uh, mannequins in a rude positions in the window of an empty store. Anyway, they got them all in shagging positions and you know, with fucking like doing the doggy style and oral sex and fucking whatever else. They got loads of different positions. All the mannequins are all on them. I bet some fuckers had some uh, art attacks of them as well. Some old people walking past, going, "Oh my god, I think that's disgusting." <laughs> But it's not disgusting. It's very, very funny. A Debenham store. So it was a department store as well. That's got to be somebody who's been told he's going to get the sack. Well, you've been laid off because of the COVID thing, I'm afraid. We don't need you. Right. I'm going to stick all the dummies in fucking sex positions then in the window. That'll teach you. Good. You've got to have a laugh at working. That's perk of the job. Hope you nick some clothes as well. Don't go home empty handed if you're fucking they're taking your job off you. Debenhams is going bust anyway, isn't it? It's going bust. Nick what you can. Hey, well, they ain't going bust. The fucking well, the, the people who own the place, they're nicking all the money out of it. Then it goes bust. The people who own it are not going to come out of their short chains, believe me. So nick some clothes and get your worth as well. What's this one? Aliens, aliens could spy on us with the help of nearby stars. Astronomers have put together a star map that shows ETs could be looking, looking at us from for, uh, from Earth. For, for, <laughs> 
you're basically saying that there's loads of stars that they can uh, use to... I don't know how they're going to do that. Most of the 4,000 odd exco planets we know of were found using the transit method when light from a star dips as a planet gets in between it and Earth. So, right, I'm not intelligent enough to figure out... I, I, I ain't got time to read the whole thing. I think that they're using some kind of mirror technique and bouncing it off the planets and they're watching us that way. Good. <clears throat> I hope they are. I hope they're fucking here. I hope they're, I hope they're uh, under the sea. I hope they're already here, walking amongst us. They haven't come and spoke to me yet. I've been calling. I'm, I'm sending out the signals on the jungle drums. They should be tuning into me telepathically. They haven't come yet. When they do, I'll let you know. I might be going on a space ride. But anyway, the uh, I hope they do because uh, that's as I said before. I, I, that's what I want to see. I want aliens to come down in my lifetime. Where it's obvious, I want them to come down. Even if they come down and fucking parachute at the uh, at the spaceship, or if I'm high, it could just be somebody who's parachuting. Maybe I'm off on magic mushrooms in the back garden, and I see um, what could I see falling out of the sky? What falls out of the sky these days? Maybe a block of ice out of an airplane, a block of piss. You know, when the block, these blocks of piss fall out there when the airplane does a flush the toilet and it fucking falls down and knocks somebody out or falls straight through the roof. And kill did something one uh Yeah, one went straight through somebody's roof into the living room, I'm sure he did smash the coffee table while they're watching the TV. So But I hope aliens come down. Can't wait to meet them. They'll have I reckon they'll have a lot of fun. They won't have uh, they won't be stuck up like some of the fucking idiots down here on Earth. And they'll be come down here and go, What a shit hole? Have we really gotta fucking come down here and kill all you like and clean this place up? Or are you gonna do it before we do? We're gonna give you prior warning. And if you don't sort it out, believe me, that asteroid is fucking not coming here because of anything other than we're directing it towards you. It's going to blow the place off, clear clear away the dead wood, which is you lot, and then we're coming down in our fucking alien parachutes and we're colonising it. We're going to make it a fucking paradise, which it should have been and was before you came along. Anyway, there you go. Getting all righteous. I'm going to leave it there then on that one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll do another one tomorrow. See you later. Bye.